Welcome to Athens, Georgia, Sanford Stadium, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where more than 90,000 have already started to bark loudly. Today, a ranked versus ranked matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. will kick it off to get us underway. Coming out with it, it's Smith. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense is on the field for the first time today. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They'd better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Right back to it. Tackled at the 28. It's a pickup of five. Well, it's an electrifying run. You think about the tradition at the running back position for the Bulldogs. Herschel Walker and his Heisman Trophy. No Sean Marino. And how about this? Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, and Sony Michelle all there at the same time. I bet this guy could have gotten to that rotation, though, because he's got those types of skills. Tosses it incomplete. All right, it's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. Now on second down after the incompletion. Handoff to the lone back. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, when those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. A third and long coming up here. Scanning the field, it's back. Zings it complete to the right. Running through contact. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Well, they didn't let him get loose for a big return, but he still made the big play, and they'll take over at the 17. Sometimes the quarterback puts that zip on it, and you can hear it, and sometimes he uses the lob wedge where it takes a little time to get there. That time, he used the lob wedge, and the defender came in and made the interception. Big play for this defense early. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Give to the running back. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. The give out of the gun. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught close to the marker, it's Johnson. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it. 
got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Cardinals getting set on first and ten. Pulls it and fires to the left. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Unloads quickly. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. To the air. It's shot. He's got it. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. He's looking to throw. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville! They just took the air out of that thing, and that might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. And took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense, because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish it off, needing just a few inches and going up top to get it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, they had that last drive proving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive that made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. On the ground, it's ETN. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short games to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Still looking on the move. Pressure's there and he lets it go. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. 
last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this. Nowhere to go. The ball's loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. He'll mark it right at the previous line of scrimmage. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. But jet sweep pass. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. Back on the field after the break, and we'll start the quarter here on third down. To the air, it's shot. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. And the Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Off play action. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals! And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Lining up to add another. And the extra point makes it 14-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming courtesy of that touchdown toss from 45 yards out. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden... Hit the afterburners, kid. He's at the 40. The 20. Touchdown, dogs! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision, and then it shows you the speed. Just straight wheels and racing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Pad those stats, young fella. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after the extra point, they cut the lead in half, down 14-7. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Looking the kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away in 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. No chance to return that one. A booming kickoff out of the back of the end zone. It's a touchback. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. 
The lone back's got it. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. at the 41 as his defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Looking downfield, it's shut. Quick strike complete. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. The Cardinals look to keep this drive humming. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now got to figure out what they're doing. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. From the gun, running back on the move. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. It's a pickup of five and enough for a first down. And the Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. It's complete. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? You've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Here comes the offense on second down. Off the play fake. The short hands, it's Brooks. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Finds his big tight end. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. That is no good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. That's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. another look at this Bulldog offense. Then that last drive, if you want to call it that, was efficient. One big run for a score, David. See if they can do it again. Yeah, and I find it hard-pressed. They're not going to give it right back to him. You break that long of a run, get a touchdown, Jesse. I'm assuming he's going to touch it again. You're absolutely right, David. Everybody in this stadium, I think, is expecting him to get it again, too. Big-time players make big plays in big games. Let's see what he can do here. Get it out on the screen. At the 35, he's got more. They'll make the stop, but not before they use the screen beautifully and pick up the first down. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Boots. On the run. It's back. Got his man out of the backfield. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Yeah, and I think you've just seen how the quarterback has so much confidence in this guy catching the ball, too, right? Receivers aren't open. Tight ends aren't open. He knows he can find him running out of the backfield if he lines up a wide receiver. This dude can get open, and he can make positive things happen after he has the ball. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. He wants to take the top off, and he's got it inside the 20. 
man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they want it now. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the boulevard. They march 79 yards on the drive. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. This offense has a second down play. to throw. It's shot. Right down the middle. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw for it. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. At the 45 on its way. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down much more really good execution by this offense the Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs comes out throwing on first down got it in the middle it's Bell big play for this offense as they get it to the 32 the offense burns its third and final timeout of the half with a first down they'll snap it from the 32 he's looking to throw it coming after it Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On second down, he'll let it fly. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. So they'll decline the penalty, please, with the results of that last play. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. He's going to pass. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. 
They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas between the hedges in Sanford Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. Ready to get things going here in the second half as Georgia about to kick it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I gotta physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. It's caught. And he'll have to check his fillings after that lick, but he did get the first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Grab behind the line. It's Lacey. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. The give to the back. Gets it past the marker. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. And the Cardinals are flying down the field. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run down in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to go back in this game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They just handed the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no Moss, get it together. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Never had a chance. What coverage to get down there and knock him down inside the tank. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Hand off to the home back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Georgia lining up to punt it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. 
After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again. Create some momentum. Just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. Fakes his man out. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give to the lone running back. And he'll be stuck. Got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And that's just a simple blitz by the middle linebacker. And he's able to win up front. He sees the gap. He's able to beat his block and get to the QB. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in this. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Tom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit in this one. Dogs pick up the first down through the air, and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic, throwing the football down the field. That is a really good-looking throw. And you think about the expectation level now for quarterbacks of Georgia. Matthew Stafford was the number one pick overall. Stetson Bennett won two national championships. Imagine the pressure on this guy. But when you see throws like that, he makes you believe that he can step up and lead this team to yet another natty. Grabbed in the middle, it's Thomas. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. the scoreboard on their side but so too is time as we open the fourth we've got this third down play to open the quarter to the ground to try to move the chains that'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43 yard line Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. 
Yeah, and these halfbacks, man, they're wide receivers now. They do so much work in practice now with the wide receiver group, and you can see it there. Sells like he's going outside, sticks his foot in the ground, angles to the middle of the field. Quarterback finds him for the first down. He caught it! So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route. Oh, touchdown, Georgia! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They'll put this one in play. First snap of the drive from the 25. Now they'll run the draw. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. You've got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Looking to throw, it's shot. They're setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Cardinals will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Evans. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Picks up the first down. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use it. It's him in stride inside the 10. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, dog! What nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Roughing the, kicker. Roughing the, kicker. Roughing the, kicker. the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. 
the last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play. Fires the pass. Intercepted. He'll try to take it back. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception. Takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. And now with the extra point, they're up by 18 here in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do happen. So you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Now on second down. Fast motion from the offense. On the move. It's shot. He makes the grab. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. They'll throw it on first down. Got a man. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And the Cardinals hit it quickly to the line. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Trying to pick up a first down. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Bringing it back. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back, takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one dimension. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress. Under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this. And this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Fire. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. 
I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Muscling ahead on third and short. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Yeah, they've had a day. It's the complete and total offense. They, they got the ground going, and obviously this is why you see him. You, you're going to feature him because he can churn those legs, get those extra yards, but they've had balance throwing for touchdowns. Like, this offense has been very complete today, and that's why they're winning so big. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.